by hurling lies and abuse at somebody and, and trying to intimidate venues and radio stations into stopping you having a platform, then play your final card if you can. So we'll see how today unfolds. If it doesn't unfold, you'll have confirmation that Canada, which masquerades as freedom, is in effect like my country and America, a fascist state in disguise. You don't get the feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up. You know that feeling that the whole country is like one inch away from saying, that's it, forget it. Think about it, everything's good. Fire me, the government, the schools, you name it. When you schools, I was uh, walking the house all the other day and I asked myself, is there life after high school? Because I can't face tomorrow, let alone the whole year of this shit. All you nice people living in the middle of America, the beautiful. Let's see, we're on uh, 92 FM. It feels like a nice clean little band so far. No one else is using it. Price is right. And yes, folks, you get tonight on um, somebody's 10 Beckard House. And stay tuned because this is a hard hairy reminding you to eat your cereal with a fork and do your homework in the dark. Lightness in the air, everywhere. Running through that old pipeline out there, trickling along that dumb concrete river, and coming up through the drains of those lovely cracked homes we all live in. <laughs> Fucking yuppies. My dad sold out. And my mom sold out years ago when she had me. And then they sold me out when they brought me to this hole in the world. They, they made me everything I am today, so naturally I hate the bastards. Speaking of which, I am uh, running a contest on the best way to put him out of the room. Baby, it's well Folks, technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, I feel good. Hey. Ah, well, 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 well. The big news. The emergency PTA meeting to discuss yours truly. Yes, all of the professionals have come out. They talk about the old me, and now they've all run home to tune in and listen to what they've all been talking about. They say that I am deluded, demented, deranged. Well, guess what I say? So be it! After you rise up to the cafeteria and stab them with your plastic forks. I say vlogging is congratulations for Miss Crestwood. She gets a hundred lashes for every single year. Then she is hounded out of that fucking place. I say down with all guys in California. Make them work for a living. I can't stay away from this man. Oh, I gotta give him another call. Here I come, Dee. <laughs> Uh, hi, believe it or not, this is our Harry, and I would like the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Beaver. Just a moment. I'll see if he's available. I love it. It's so beautiful. Waiting for you. You can run, but you cannot hide, Mr. Beaver. Hello, my young friend. You're in. It's all over, son. This phone call has been traced. Whoever you uh, And anyone's name not found written in the Book of Life, they will be thrown into the lake of fire. I guess. Hi, folks. Seems we have a new listener tonight. Mr. Watts of the FCC. I'm a favorite person on your list, too, I know. Hi, Arthur. Thanks for coming out. Well, thank you for coming out. A fucking political hack being in charge of free speech in America. I bet Watts was the guy who took names in high school when the teacher was absent. This is the problem with free speech. Would you cut that thing, please? The kind of phony in politics wears a wig. You just turn the damn thing off. Right. <laughs>
A million voices crying out in the wilderness! Jesus, let's get serious! It's all for the good of the school. Those kids had rights. They were losers. Troublemakers. They're just kids. I don't regret my policy. Come on, guys. I'm suspending you. You can't do that. Oh, I think I just did. And anyone's name not found written in the book. Everyone listen up! It's not over yet, man! It's just the beginning! But it's up to you! I'm calling for every kid to seize the air! Steal it! It belongs to you! Speak out! They can't stop you! Find your voice and use it! Keep this thing going! Pick a name! Go on the air! It's your life! Take charge of it! Do it! Try it! Try anything! Fill your guts out! Say shit and fuck a million times if you want to! You decide! Fill the air! Steal it! They will be flown to the lake of fire. You don't see him in. And uh, I sat down and talked to him. And I said, uh, you know, you realize there's potentially severe ramifications to this. And we ran through everything. And his words to me were that if there was a chance to talk to the local newspaper uh, or, or something like that, that he wanted and he saw it as an opportunity to uh, raise awareness and, and for education. And he was very, very clear in that he felt that just because he's 10 years old doesn't mean he doesn't have opinions, right. doesn't mean he doesn't have rights and doesn't mean that he can't make a difference. He does seem to have very strong opinions, we should say, and, and obviously they are very reasoned out. We should say that he, he's an extraordinarily bright child. He skipped the fourth grade, went right, went right from the third grade to the fifth grade. But, uh, Will, as we prepare to leave you here, what will it take for you to stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance? And, and I ask this question based on you know, what we saw in the off-year election just a couple of weeks ago. A same-sex marriage uh, initiative was put to the test, put to the voters in the state of Maine. And every state across the nation where it has been put to the voters, it has gone down to defeat. So the democratic process is taking place here. It seems to be something that voters at large do not support. So what will it take for you to return to saying the Pledge? For there to truly be liberty and justice for all. And what does that entail? And anyone's name? That entails everyone being able to marry. All right. Will Phillips, Jay Phillips, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll keep watching the story. It's certainly an interesting one. And anyone's name not found written in the Book of Life. They will be flown into the lake of fire.